Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we are going to build a cat house. So uh, there have there, there are a few black cats, three black cats that have been kind of abandoned at a house nearby. And uh, we wanna try to catch them and bring them here as our outdoor cats. So we have a little work to do. Uh, I wanna give them a place to stay outside. They're not coming in the house, but uh, maybe, they'll, maybe they'll kill mouse, mice for us. All right. So, got a nice clean spot on the workbench here. So the top down view of this thing will make it a rectangle. But I wanna have a door here on this side. I'm gonna create a baffle that goes like that on the inside so that the cats can get in, but it'll help to stop the cold air a little bit. And then I'll make a, an exit over here and I'll put another baffle in like that. So the cats can come in, they can, we'll put some blankets, a little bed, you know, some kind of little soft places for all three cats to kind of hang out in, in this area. This will be their home. And the idea with having an exit in a cat house in our area is the cats can get in here and if they're resting comfortably inside this area or this area, if something gets in here like a raccoon or a possum or something else uh, in you know, the cats can't be pinned down in here. They can always, if they're, you know, sitting over here, they could get out the back. So how big we make it is gonna depend on what scrap wood we have. So let's go see what we have and see how big we can make this thing. All right, let's look on the scrap wood cart. We've got, this is a 10 foot two by four here. So that gives us a good amount of two by fours. We've got a lot of two by sixes and two by eights in this stack that could be ripped down for a lot of short pieces. So I could rip those into two by fours. Got a lot of extra siding left over from the uh, chicken coop, the stone chicken coop build. So I've got a piece here. It looks like I've got enough of that. I do have some foam board if I wanna insulate the inside, which I probably will do. I think I've got several pieces of that. And then in the, the corner over here, <laughs> I've got a few, I've got a couple more eight foot two by fours. It looks like um, some four by fours, maybe a couple pieces of plywood and some other pallet pieces. I've got a few two by fours in here. This is of uh, one inch material. So let's do our side view. We'll have another entrance right there. Let's see if I make this three foot by 18 inches. Let's lay out three foot by 18 inches and see what we get. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when you don't pay attention. <laughs> I'll try. I didn't have enough wood to make these go all the way uh, to the full 36 inch length. So I had to make these shorter. My plan was to put the, the two by four on the outside and instead I cut them on the inside. I think what I'm gonna do instead of taking all these apart, I'm just gonna add another, since I have to waste these anyway, I'm gonna add a uh, 18 inch piece on each side and I'm just gonna move these to the outside. This was supposed to be lined up. Uh, this is the challenge of making things with scrap wood. I only have, I don't have any more wood that's longer than 24 inches. So I think we can still do it.
Well, before we put the roof on, let's just take a look inside and kind of give you guys an update. So we made it a little bigger than I had originally planned. We ended up going uh, three feet by four feet uh, total uh, length and, and width. So the, the front door is right here and you can see the, the baffle right on the inside. So the cats can go in and around that way, but the wind won't blow, uh, blow in wind and snow and things. Now the roof will will overhang so it's got a it's got a little bit of an overhang over the door there'll be a, a little ventilation there'll be a gap right here where air can get in and I just threw some scrap pieces up in the corners here to kind of cover those uh, those entryways so that snow and ice and water and wind doesn't blow up over and then same thing over here so the cats can come in or out this side and that comes out the the side door i know we could hang some like little plastic strips or something i don't know if the cats will be comfortable pushing through that or not i used just about every scrap piece of wood i had <laughs> so um, this is uh some one by material that i ripped down into inch and a half strips pl some plumbing that was enclosed in our basement that i took out i don't know where this came from this is a piece of uh particle board uh this is going to have to be stained heavily all this is going to get stained but i'll have to stain this really good because this will this will deteriorate in the in the wet these are actually a bunch of spare railings our deck all over here has these uh these spindles and we moved in there was a, a bunch of extras and so that's what's uh, the trusses that i made this is actually a piece of really expensive uh, poplar <laughs> or maple that uh, is, is the ridge beam here. This was uh, from the cabinets that I, that I built for the game bar. The latch is just made out of a little piece of that poplar or maple. And so this opens up so you can have access to clean it out. We can put blankets in there. We could also feed the cats in here if we wanted to. Um, I guess we could reach up onto these uh these little ledges and put cat food up there i have a feeling the cats might actually like these little lofts in here they may end up laying up in there a piece of wood that was left here it's a shelf or something it may have that may have come from our, our barn at the old house actually i'm not sure bits of recovered two by four and other things that i saved and the last step is to put this andorra roofing on i don't have a a ridge cap uh, I didn't have any extra of that. This uh, Andorra roofing comes with, or you can buy uh, three foot sections of this ridge cap that sits over the top. So we're gonna put the, the roofing on, uh, I'll just overlap it. So I think I have to cut, um, I think I have to cut four pieces to cover the whole roof here. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Well, it has been a little over a week and a lot has happened <laughs> this last week uh, that I'll update you on. But the cat house, I think turned out really good. The, uh, the, the cat shelter, I should call it. Well, we went to get the cats. Uh, we went down there to, to, to grab them. I thought they were friendly enough. Uh, we've, you know, been, uh, been feeding them and petting them and everything but I've never held one of them. I grabbed the cat and it turned into a ball of spinning razor sharp claws and teeth. And I tried to hold that, I was, I was holding that cat like tight uh, to try to get it in and, and get it under control and it cut me to shreds. It cut my hands, 
it bit me in several places, uh, bit my hand, uh, my right hand and my left hand, put a bunch of holes in my hand. I finally let go of the cat and it was, I was bleeding everywhere. We weren't videotaped because I was gonna bring videotape when we got him back here. Later that night, my hand swelled up uh, quite a bit. I couldn't even move my fingers and I ended up having to go to urgent care. So I got a, a antibiotic uh, that I had to deal with and, and uh, you know, clean my hand all up and all this stuff. I had to talk to the health department. I had to file a report with the county. I had to go, they want me to get a rabies shot now. I had all these things. But then the next, uh, two, a couple days later after this whole incident, we went back and we did catch one of the cats. All right. There they are. I'm not sure which one did this to my hand last night. Let's see if we can trap them a little more safely. He's got to hit it. He must have stepped over the trip lever. Wait a second. <laughs> I don't understand it. It's not tripping. As I stopped filming, Oops. Hey. settled up. As soon as I brought that cat back here, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I thought what I wanted to do was get him acquainted. I was gonna get all the cats in this, in this dog crate. The top of this dog crate has large holes. Of course, the cat instantly, as soon as I got it in there, climbed out the top. This, I didn't have this foam board on here. The, it just climbed out, ran across the railing, and ran off into the woods, and we've never seen it since. So it's living somewhere wild around here. Maybe it'll come back one day. So I put this cover on here, and we went back and set the traps. Well, it turns out we caught a possum and a raccoon and no cats. <laughs> the cats are super scared of those traps. And uh, since then, the house has been sold to other tenants. They're down there working on it. Uh, I'm gonna have to try to talk to them and see if, you know, if the cats are still around, maybe we can talk with the new owners and see if we can get down here and get these cats and bring them here. Otherwise, maybe we'll, you know, adopt us another stray cat someday and it'll have a nice place to live. We're all ready for a, for an outdoor cat here someday. Let me know what you guys think of the, the cat shelter, uh, the outdoor cat shelter. If you're looking to build something like this, hopefully this gave you some ideas. I'd love to hear feedback, uh, maybe some improvements, things that you would have done differently. Uh, what, what do you guys think? I always like to, to get your suggestions and maybe we can upgrade this one someday or when we build another one, we'll keep those things in mind. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.